What's up everyone, it's Bones here. In today's video, I'll be beginning my journey through the Battles of Legends, Crystal Revenge stuff that we'll be getting in the TCG in the upcoming weeks. But before I begin, if you happen to enjoy content like this, clicking on those thumbs up and subscribe buttons would be greatly appreciated, as it goes a long way in supporting the channel and shows me that you like content like this. I would also like to mention that for this specific video, I'll be covering Overfusion, a card that sees minimal to no play in Neo's decks, and I feel found a couple of lines with and shuffle along with the fusion over which i just happened to think they were interesting as they open new lines of play for the deck so to begin i'm going to start by reading and shuffle and it reads you can shuffle one elemental hero or neo spatian monster you control into the deck and if you do special summon one elemental hero or neo spatian monster with a different name from your deck you can banish this card from your graveyard shuffle both one elemental hero monster and one neo Spatian monster or one elemental hero neos from your graveyard into the deck then draw one card you can only use each effect of end shuffle once per turn as you can see we're actually playing the neos deck and not omni heroes if you were playing omni heroes this can be seen as an easier way to get into your dark law as you can just freely special summon a shadow mist from your deck with any other hero name by just shuffling it back but because i wanted to make full use out of the card for this video, we will be using it in the Neo deck. And Fusion Over reads that you can target one face up monster on the field, reveal one elemental hero, Neo Spatian, or level 10 monster from your hand, deck, or extra deck. And the targeted monster's name can be treated as the revealed monsters. If used as a fusion material this turn, send the revealed monster to the graveyard. If you have elemental hero Neos on your field or in your graveyard, otherwise shuffle it back into the deck. If revealed from the hand, shuffle it into the main deck. You can only activate one over fusion per turn. So while this card just looks like an elemental hero prisma, there's actually more implications that you have as I'll go over as the video continues, but I'm going to start here by using the cross keeper in order to special summon the stratos then we can use the stratos effect which will allow us to get a search for a blaze man or a vion depending on whatever you want to play but the main thing you want here is the ability to search for the polymerization from here we can use the end shuffle and now we can put back our stratos in order to special summon a spirit of neos to get our search for a neo speller trap so we'll grab the engage neo space and I'm taking this line of play specifically because I want to show what you can do with full gas in a going second hand as Neos isn't really known for its capabilities going first. From here we're going to use the Spirit of Neos effect putting it back into the deck in order to special summon our elemental hero Neos and from here we can now use the engage which will send Dark Panther and the Shadow Mist to the graveyard and from here we can special summon a second copy of Neos. As you can see we're on two copies of Neos because we're on the fusion over as well as the infernal divisor. So we're going to get the search of the fusion substitute as we special summon the Neos through engage and now we're going to use the shadow mist effect to net us a search and we'll get the liquid soldier. So we're going to use the polymerization here fusing away the liquid soldier and the blaze man getting us into our sunriser which will now give us a total of three chain links as we have Cross Keepers, Chain Link 1, Liquid Soldiers, Chain Link 2, and the Sunrisers, Chain Link 3, to grab us our Miracle Fusion. And from here, we can now get our draws as we're going to pitch the Stratos, get two more, put back a Shadow Mist, and now we're going to use the Fusion over. And the reason I'm doing this is, as I stated, this is more of a going second combo. And what you can do here with the fusion over is you can turn the Sunriser into your Flame Wingman because it's a fusion monster. And because its name is Flame Wingman, you can now fuse with it for your Neo's Wingman. So from here we're going to use the fusion substitute in order to do just that. And another cool thing that you get here is the draws off of End Shuffle and the Fusion Substitute, which you'll see we're going to put two names back into our deck, get a draw, and then we can use the Fusion Substitute to put our Sunriser back into the deck, net us another draw, and from here we have a Miracle Fusion that we can use to complete an OTK. So now I have a going first hand, and I'll also be using the End Shuffle and the Over Fusion just to 
dig deeper into the versatility of these cards. As stated earlier, the Neos cards or the Neos deck isn't necessarily great going first, but what this still enables is pretty cool. So we're going to start here by activating a Hero Lives, and now we can get our Stratos on board, and the Stratos will net us a search, which will get us our Blazeman, much like our previous combo. And from here we can normal summon the Blazeman, get its effect, which will get us the polymerization. And from here we can use the End Shuffle, putting back our Stratos into the deck in order to special summon Spirit of Neos. So you're doing a lot of the same stuff here, as the goal here is to get into to your elemental hero Neos, but as you can see this time around we're adding the favorite contact because it's a going first combo, so we're now going to use the spirit of Neos to get the elemental hero Neos on board, and now we can use the instant contact in order to get us a wingman onto the field, and we can link those away into the infernal divisor. The infernal divisor will now add us an elemental hero Neos plus a name, and from here we can now use the fusion over which will allow us to turn the infernal divisor into a neospatian and we're going to use the grand mole and i would also like to point out that because we have elemental hero neos the fusion over becomes a foolish burial to get you an extra name into the graveyard to set up this combo so we're now going to contact fuse away into the grand neos in order to keep resources we can then use the Neos Fusion in order to get our third name for this combo. And from here, we're going to just set the favorite contact. And now before we end our turn, we're going to use the End Shuffle, and we'll put the Neos back into our deck to get ourselves the extra draw. From here, we'll go to the end phase. And now it's up to you whether you want to keep one of your Neos Fusions on board or not. You can actually put them back to the extra deck if you want to keep resources and not lose as hard to board wipes, even though you'd really just be ending on one Neos Fusion monster, since Neos Fusion can only protect one, unfortunately. But now that we have all this set up in Graveyard, we can use the Favorite Contact, and this will get us into our Cosmo Neos in order to get our quote-unquote turn skip. Now, onto the deck profile, and you'll see there hasn't been a ton of changes besides the fusion substitute, the three fusion overs, of course the end shuffles, and the fact we're playing an extra copy of Neos. And as you can see, these changes had to be made in order to adapt to the end shuffle and the over fusion being added to the deck. I would also like to point out that I've also seen people use convert contact along with extra Neospatian names with the end shuffle in order to get draws and stuff, but it does require for you to control no monsters. They were also playing Fusion Conscription in order to get themselves a search of a Neospatian more consistently to get this card off. I've also seen people play the N-Wave, but I just don't think that we need it, especially now that we have the three end shuffles to make our setup more consistent and to ensure that we don't die as easily, though the deck is very susceptible to a multitude of things. But to begin the card by card, you'll see that we're playing one Liquid Soldier, one Blazeman, which could be Vion, and one Stratos, a minimal E-Hero package alongside the two Shadow Mists because end shuffle can just put back your Stratos into the deck, as well as your other two, whether it be using the on-field effect or even the graveyard effect. The two Shadow Mist is more so for Engage. Then there's the one Crosskeeper. You can up this. I wanted to keep this deck at 40. Then there's the two Spirit of Neos and the two Neos. If you're playing the End Shuffle and the Overfusion, this is the perfect ratio in my opinion. And then for the Neos Patients, we have our three names with Aqua Dolphin, Grand Mole, and Dark Panther. Then we have the three A Hero Lives. Fusion Substitute to pair with your End Shuffle, just getting you those extra draws and hopefully pulling off a Super Poly or a Favorite Contact. This helps you make your going first a little bit more consistent, as it's something that the deck really does struggle with. Then we have the Polymerization, the Miracle Fusion, the Reinforcement of the Army, and it's still Reinforcement of the Army because you want to be able to either search out your Aqua Dolphin or your Crosskeeper. Then we have the three Instant Contacts, 
the three M shuffles, the two favorite contacts here, the three super polys, the three overfusions, the three N gauge, the three Neos fusion to round out the deck profile. Onto the extra deck, we have the one Infernal Divisor, the one Cosmo Neos, the one Nebula Neos, the two Neos Wingman, the one Brave Neos, the one Sunriser, the Eskari Dao, the Shining, Absolute Zero, and Great Tornado are all here for Super Poly. I wanted to heavily invest in a Super Poly package in order to make the deck more diverse as it needs as much help as possible with the real lack of going first extra deck cards that we seem to not have unless you happen to play the Fusion Destiny with the Mallies and such, but then keep in mind that you're really adding to your bricks with the Neos and stuff. Then we have our three Neos Bation fusions, uh, the Aqua Neos, the Dark Neos, and the Grand Neos, along with the Flame Wingman to round out the extra deck. For the side deck, there is a couple of things that you can do here. If you want, you can actually take out one Magna, and then you can put in a second copy of Mudora if you're that scared of the milling. But it depends on what you want to do. I still do think that it's best to play any ratios of the Bistial package along with Keldo and Mudora though, especially for this format. Then we have the three droplet, and I think that this should be in every side or main deck at this point. It's really the only answer to Dweller that we have. It even hits Dweller while it's under Elf. Then we have the three Cosmic Cyclones, you still need a mine out, along with the Rivalry of Warlords, for random matches where versus a deck that needs multiple typings can come up. Hey guys, coming from the future here, and the one card I forgot to go over that we'll be getting in this set is Battle of Sleeping Spirits, which reads, each player can special summon one monster from their graveyard that was destroyed by battle this turn in attack position, and if you special summon Elemental Hero Neos, if it battles an opponent's monster this turn, its attack becomes doubled during the damage step only. You can only activate one Battle of Sleeping Spirits per turn. So, due to the nature of the deck being so battle-heavy, because there isn't necessarily any great going first options besides Cosmo Neos and Neos Wingman, and it can potentially help go for OTKs, but it's dependent on the style of build that you want to play. I would also like to add that you can play the math changes along with some targets, but the only reason that they're not here is because of the super polys. Anyways, if you made it this far into the video, I thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. If you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them down below. It's Bones, signing out.